All right. So, quick backstory before I get into this. A while ago, I decided I wanted to make a Adreno programmable RC car. Started off with this initial design. This is my my proof of concept. This board here takes an Adreno Nano, has a uh, H-Bridge motor controller. It was powered by two battery packs, uh, and it was cool. It, it went around. It was not very fast, and it uses what they call differential steering, where it, based on the speed of these side wheels is how much it can turn. So it's actually able to spin in circles. It drives just like a tank. From there, I actually went and went a bit of a better route. I have a PCB design for this one. Uh, I don't have it with me. Let me go grab that. Okay, okay. So for this board, this is a PCB without anything soldered onto it, like the Nano and the, the NRF. This was meant to mount on there, right on these posts. It uh, held a dual 18650 battery pack on the bottom in parallel, which as it turns out was way too much. I didn't need that much battery. This was cool. It was a bit faster. It worked. And, and the idea was to take this project and pitch it to be some sort of class at this technology camp, which did eventually work out. Um, Sort of. I'll get into that a little later. There was a comment that was made when I was pitching it and I was showing it off is that it's not very fast. You know, if you're a kid and you want to make an RC car, this isn't really what you're imagining in your mind. This thing, it goes relatively quick, but it drives like a tank. It's not very good at climbing over things, even with the big wheels. And it's just not the best. So, redesign again. And eventually fell on this design. This is another custom PCB with just one 18650 battery. It uses an Adreno Nano, and this is the uh, NRF24 module. And this connects directly to another NRF24 module on another custom PCB right here. This uses a smaller battery. I forget which one this is called, but it doesn't need as much power. It's just a controller. And another Adreno Nano. It uses a little joystick, has buttons. This thing actually came out very nicely. I was very happy with it. And this was the attention, intention to use for the class. This thing uses standard uh, like geometric steering. This thing operates similarly to, to a rack and pinion. The design is a little different because of how compact I had to make. Also, I'm not a mechanical engineer and I have no idea what I'm doing. So this thing uses a little servo, it twists these arms and it uses something called Ackerman steering geometry, which if you notice, one wheel is, is pointed more than the other one. Um, and this is how actually cars turn and it keeps the wheels from, from slipping during a turn in and of itself to me has some problems for one it's a dual h bridge driver uh, and there's two sockets to hook up motors so you can do two motors if you want to do a project that wasn't this one with the same board however it really can't power it it's just not powerful enough the battery can do enough current but the thing that i'm doing to do the five volt boost it just really can't handle it and then on top of that if there's too much noise in the system the adreno just crashes <laughs> it just it can't work so this works in its current state, but if I wanted to actually make it a project, it only has this one use and it's not, you can't, it's not really a developer board. You can't do anything other than the one project I designed it for, which is not my intention. But it does still work as I intend it to, right? And it's pretty quick. Actually a lot faster than that if I wanted it to be. But it's cool and I really like it. And I think this has potential to do what I want it to do, where it can teach kids more about programming in a more fun way because Reno to me has a bit of a problem and that it's an excellent tool to teach children however it's kind of boring right it, it, you know you're teaching kids about using Adreno and you're having them turn LEDs on and off or maybe powering a fan or something but this is something tangible they can take home and they can play with you know for hours on end but to me, the project feels limited by its mechanical design and its electrical design. So I want to expand on that. This is why I'm making the video. I wanted to document my process here and also see, you know, I want to I want to stress that I am not a master at any of this. I barely know what I'm doing. And so opening it up, you know, posting progress on the internet, maybe I can get some good advice or get some good interaction with anyone that is much smarter than me, which is a lot of people. So. Going from there, I've actually already done this step, but I found out about this cool little chip. This is the ESP32. So instead of using an Adreno Nano, I can use two ESP32s and they can communicate with each other directly. And I don't have to use this NRF24 module. Uh, they can use something called ESP Now and connect to each other directly. With the Adreno Now, Libraries, it's actually fairly straightforward to, to write some code to get them to communicate with each other 
in a way that we can use it to control an RC car. So this is the board I designed. Again, it has some minor issues. This is a prototype board, um, and I have some actually already set up. And then here's actually a very sketchy controller just to test things out. It's an ESP32. It's got a 6-volt boost converter. It's got a linear charger and battery protection circuit versus on my old project, I actually used a uh, battery bank circuit, which is a charger and boost converter built into one, but it only boosts to five volts. Motors tend to be rated for six volts at the minimum, sometimes three volts. There isn't really five volt motors out there. So I was using six volt motors for my projects, which was fine. It will make them spin, but I feel like I'm missing out on a little bit of performance I could gain, you know, with RC cars. I kind of want them to go as fast as possible. That's where this board comes in. ESP32. Got a servo header. It's got three servo headers, actually. I mean, you can program even more. I made all the other pins available that I wasn't using. That's all of this. Uh, big boy six-volt boost converter that can provide five amps. The battery protection circuit does short circuit protection, reverse current protection, those sorts of things. So it makes it a little more free in the sense if you just wanted the board for your own project, you could do that. I will release all these designs. Um, this isn't finished, though. It does have some problems. So, this is my, my current spot. It does actually function. I did program it already if I do plug it in. It's a little glitchy. My code needs work. You can see like this, this does work in its current state, which is cool. Next steps for the project would be making a more controller-oriented board. The battery charging circuit mixed with an ESP32 that you can program. And that is basically going to be what the controller PC there's going to be no 6 volt boost converter there will be usb 32 3.3 volt regulator empower it charge it with the one usb type c port that is that is a big addition to this project as well the original project uses mini usb one for the the nano if you want to program the nano and the other one for charging which is over here and that is i don't like having to use mini usb i don't like having two separate ports so just the one port is a pretty major redesign. Additionally, this board is much smaller. Doesn't require the NRF 24 module. There's a lot of things you can do with the ESP32 that it just purely is not available on the Nano. So, next steps of the project can be designing the controller. I think I'm gonna walk through that bit next. I think in the next video, maybe I'll address some of my mechanical design things. It's made on Fusion 360. So I'll go over that step of the project. And if anyone's interested, you know, comment, give me some advice. Yeah, and I plan on opening all the designs, including all the 3D models for the RC car. If anyone is interested in this project, outside of just me. <laughs>